Hello? Hello, everyone? Hello, did you miss my room? Hello, did you miss me? Hello, did you miss... My cat? I shouldn't be showing you this because we didn't hit the sub goal, but here she is. She's been so cuddly since I came home. <laughs> All right, you go on the floor. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hello, 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 hello. TM Toxication, thank you for subscribing. Uh, She's trying to get out, but I don't want to let her out. Honeyweather, thank you for subscribing. Death Blossom, thank you for subscribing. Angel Lacey, thank you for subscribing. I might have to go let her out. Naren, thank you for the prime. W for Wumbo, thank you for the 21 months. And Kelly and Briscoe, thank you for subscribing. Viper, thank you for the prime. Do you want out? Hmm? No, you changed your mind? Okay. All right. She's in a mood. Also, do we like the Jack Manifold merch? <laughs> because I do. Hello, hello, how's the UK? I'm not there anymore. We're home, I'm back in my room. We're back in the usual setup. Yes, the pink chair is gone. This is our new chair. We also have a new chair. Um, Jeff, bring it in for a hug. Hello, hello, are you sick? Do I sound sick? Because I did have like, for one day, one singular day, I was incredibly sick. Um, where's the chair, it's gone? It is gone, this is our new chair. It's our Minecraft chair. Be nice to him because he's new and he's shy. The picture is so crispy. It's too crispy. I still want to get, it's also super bright. It's very bright out today. It's an incredibly sunny day. It shouldn't be allowed because it is the middle of the winter. Um, but I like it still. I do want to like kind of add a little bit of softness to it, but I'm just so crisp. It's not a bad kind of a crisp. You can just see all of the explicit detail of my poor makeup skills, my roots, and my poor hair skills. Tasha Granate, thank you for the prime, appreciate it. Oh, and there's the cat in the wild. This is Star's world, we're just living in it. Main character of reality right there. Uh, yeah, I can adjust this, the exposure. I'm pretty sure it's this button. Wrong way. That's better. I think that's good. Xylophone Home, thank you for subscribing. Vatican Graffiti, thank you for the Prime. I spent uh, two and a half weeks in the UK this time, and the last time I spent three weeks. Uh, this is not a new choker, it's new-ish. And I'm actually going back next month because I'm going to France. The sub goal's broken. Why is it doing that? <laughs> now hold on, because the sub goal is a great one. It's a really good one. Start goal. Oh, oops. Start goal. That's why when I showed you the cat, I said I should be waiting because we haven't hit the goal yet. I'm gonna be going to France, and while I'm there, I'm gonna pop back over to the UK, because I'm, it's been really nice. I got a little, like, kind of half permanent setup to stream at, which has been nice, and I can have my own little place to stay while I'm there every time I go. Hi, Star. I just hate leaving her. Are you gonna speak French? I wish I could learn French. I wish, that would be very cool. I am kind of considering learning Spanish again, because I took Spanish for eight years, and, and very, very barely at all retained any. Can we see glasses? I don't know where I put them. I think I lost them. We go to Paris. Yes, I am specifically going to Paris. And hopefully by the time I go there again, I get to tell you why I was there in the first place. Um, because that would be nice to reveal finally. I'm horrible at keeping secrets. Leon boy, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm the worst. Not if it's your secret. If you tell me a secret, it's in the vault. I will never speak it again to any other human being, ever. I hardly have people that I could even go to with it. Uh, if I have my own secret, I will tell everyone. <laughs> if I have a surprise gift to give someone, I try and let them, I try and make them let me, I try and make them let me tell them what it is. 
Did that make sense? I think you get it. But like, if you tell me a secret, I got you. I will never repeat it. I will die with it. Uh, who took care of your cat? I got a cat sitter. I have the absolute loveliest cat sitter who comes by and her name is Glenda. And she sounds like she should be my fairy godmother. <laughs> and she's amazing and takes such good care of my cat. Um, the shovels. I'm back! We're back in my little room! I really missed my set. My set. My bedroom. This is my actual bedroom. It's my favorite place in the world. It brings me so much joy and has the, the just the, the best of vibes. You know what I bought that I'm going to put up there? I bought a wall hanger. Star wants out. Uh, and I'm going to hang my banjo lele back there. I was so excited about learning the banjo lele still. I'm, I'm full committed to learning this instrument because I'd like to say I know one. I've tried to learn multiple instruments and never really committed long enough to really actually... I'm sorry, I just whacked you. To make an attempt. We have this one, though. This was a fun one. Imagine this was the one I chose to learn. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Hey! Meow. Thank you, Thunderdrift, for the 100 bits! Yeah! You're getting extra special sneak peeks at the cat, but this... This guy's gotta get hit if you want to see her more. Alright, I'm putting, I'm putting the harmonica away. Are we surprised to learn that I took the harmonica to banjo as the next instrument I wanted to learn? They kind of fit in the same realm. Banjo Lily girl boss. Hello, hello. Hello. Mm -mm -mm. She sneeze. <laughs> okay, she's she's doing her little cuddle back there now. Every once in a while I can do a little cat reveal. Debbie for one thank you for giving. 10 subs he wants to see the cat but now i'm i'm hiding her you can see Gigi there and you can see that but now i'm hiding her until this goal is hit this month lady celestia thank you for the prime w for one thank you so much for gifting so many subs i really appreciate it you gifted so many subs over the course of your your time here with us ukulele is the easiest i'm really hoping it is true and the banjo lele is exactly the same as learning the ukulele also Let's talk about this for a second, because he did do such a great job, and this is a le legitimate, very comfortable shirt. I also learned that the men's large is meant for me. That is my size. Actually, this might be a medium. But I went shopping in the UK with Scott, and I bought so many things in a men's large, because I just decided that's the size that I want in everything from now on. I'm going to wear everything in a large, and then... It'll be long enough to be a dress, but I can wear it with little skirts underneath, or I can wear it with little tights and little shorts. And sometimes you won't see those underneath, they'll just be dress length. But sometimes you will, and it'll be cute. Am I in my Ariana Grande phase where she was wearing just large hoodies all the time and like knee highs? Was that a thing? She did that for a while, right? That was like a thing. So you're learning two instruments at once. I like the way you think. I can totally spin it that way that I am learning the banjo lele and the ukulele at the same time. Kind of. It's cheating. <laughs> it's cheating a little bit, but. Um, I got a brown skirt today and I wore a big sweater over it and I was channeling my inner sh shovel. My entire dress fashion sense is oversized top and little bottom. <laughs> Which is very much the opposite of what I'm actually working with. Um, hello, I'm new to your chat. Welcome! We're just gonna hang out and have a good time talking today. Uh, we're gonna go back to the hardcore world maybe tomorrow? Probably tomorrow. Um, I have a little cat here on my lip. I can't get it. I did bring the world from the UK. I remembered to get the world save so we could play Hardcrest here. I almost forgot, and then we would have had to start over. Which wouldn't have been the worst, because we only did play one day of it, but that would have been sad. <laughs> it would have been a little bit of a bummer. I'm so happy with my room, because I get to sit here and say it's done. I think it's complete. I don't know how I ever had my microphone in shot where you could see the bunny, but it just doesn't work anymore, and I don't know how it ever did. I'm just going to put the ears. 
No, I think I actually prefer it not being in frame at all or just like very little. But I get to know that he's there and you know he's here always. I'm learning vocal, ukulele, and guitar. That's too many things to learn at once. I, my brain can only focus on one thing at once and usually it's, it's like hyper-focus. <laughs> and if I'm not hyper-focused on something, nothing will be done. Not any kind of regular activity, errand, or just every day need to take care of myself type of thing, no thing will be happening. Um, he's on screen in spirit. You'll always know he's right here. He's not going anywhere. That's my little bunny. I really don't know how I ever had him. I don't know. You should make a lookbook video. I do want to do on my second channel more clothes videos. I know I haven't started the uploading on that channel yet. Um, I do think the very first thing I'm going to do is probably the sit down Q&A of like eighth questions and stuff. I really like just sitting on my floor and t making little vlogs there. I missed hardcore, is it new? It is absolutely brand spanking new. We've only done one stream on it. Uh, and we only really even played for two hours. So if you wanted to be caught up, you can go check out the stream. If not, I will make a YouTube video soon of that first episode, or I might wait until we do another stream, but you won't have missed much. We just got full iron, uh, but it is brand new. Is that Secret Lab chair available for purchase? I think. I think, <laughs> I think it is. If it isn't, it will be. It's definitely one that will be purchasable if not currently is purchasable. It's also my favorite. I've only had one other Secret Labs chair, which is the Diva one, and it had the little back pillow, which I liked. But this chair has knobs that you twist clockwise on either side, and it brings the back of the chair forward, like more of a, a curve for your back, but it's inside the chair. So it didn't come with a little pillow for the back because it already has like a built-in arch, like back support. And I like it a lot, but it encourages me to not be sitting on my feet, which I am a big serial sitting on my feet kind of a person. I am sitting on a foot right now. I have to sit on one, at least. Uh, me and Scott were talking, <laughs> we were saying about how um, there's like the saying of people who are LGBT or gay are either, you can't have all three, you can only have one. Uh, can't do math, can't drive, or can't sit right in a chair. And I was like, I, I was good on the first two, but then they got me with the chair one. Um, fit check. That's just some good old Jack Manifold merch. It also, I'm wearing it in a little like white pleated skirt and it's actually kind of a whole look. Um, I'm a big fan. I might even do it with that little like rounded scallop collar I have. I think it would be really cute. Um, also can't sit right in a chair. I was like, I can do math. I can drive, but they got me with the chair one. I'm now sit is currently sitting on both my feet. Um, oh yeah, but I am really learning. I'm really considering wanting to go learn Spanish because I think it's my only hope at a language if I'm going to ever be able to learn one. But also I want to try and learn American Sign Language. That's the other one I really, really want to try. Um, tag yourselves though, if you're LGBT and uh, which one you cannot do. <laughs> If you can do all three, you get a round of applause from me. It's not worth anything, but it'll make you feel good inside. Hopefully, if it doesn't. Here's my cat. Hi. She's been so happy since I came home. <laughs> I can't do any of them. So many people can't do any of them. Star. Lord of the stars. You have a Discord server? We do! We do have a Discord server. You do not need to be a sub, but there's a sub only channel, which I think I'm gonna start using more. I wanna like encourage spaces that are sub only um, to like have something cool for the subs because it's cool that you're subbed and I'd like to do that. I think if we are bringing back movie nights, which I keep talking about and haven't done yet, I might do it in a sub only channel because I think that'd be maybe cool subs movie night sounds fun you should do some duolingo i think i might i actually literally might um funny enough i was out at lunch um with wilbur tommy and tubbo and he was doing duolingo for spanish and i was like you know what that's a really great idea um because it puts a little competitive aspect i think he was saying he was co competing with somebody else to have more d days on doing it every day i don't know streak <laughs> Duolingo bird scares me. 
Maybe that's what I need, though, someone to scare me into learning a language. Shelby, tell us your plans when you have them. We're so absolutely going by the mods first. <laughs> Let's talk about doing this one day. Can you do a subs movie night? Is that a thing? To have like the voice channel of sub only movie night. Do we pick up the Lord of the Rings again? But start with the Lord of the Rings this time. Because that sounds like a fun movie night. That sounds like a good time. Um, Kind of sad we didn't get to see Shrub bark at people. Oh yeah, that was kind of, you know, things kind of ended up wrapping up a lot quicker than I was prepared with episodes for, so I didn't get to come back and be Wolf Girl for at all. <laughs> I kind of came back and immediately went through the portal. Um, but just know, anywhere she goes, or if she did have the chance to meet anyone, she would have been barking at them. She definitely would have gone full feral. What's that TikTok where you get on all fours and you just go like that? That would have been her. She would have been doing that. Somebody do a really quick doodle animation of Shrub on all fours doing the little TikTok. Oh, bark, bark, that thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> Can someone explain movie nights? We haven't um, done it in a long time, but it's literally I would go in a room, stream a movie, and everyone would join and just watch the stream in the Discord. Kind of like watching the stream here, but would be exclusive to the people in the Discord. Um... Oh, dude, also we're going to be doing a Pokemon card opening stream soon, which means, or at least part of stream, maybe part of a long stream, because I am making plans for a 12-hour stream. We can open these finally, but I got a bunch of new stuff from Pokemon, which is cool, and I'm really excited to open it all up. I got an ETB and a booster for the latest set, and I'm so excited. Um, you left a dog out of the portal. I only left it out in that one clip, and I did end up, it's, he's, I, we got him. However, one did run into the portal. That one's in there, that one's in there forever. Um, but I did go back for the sitting one, don't worry. It was just in that one clip I had forgotten, but then there was a lot of un, uh, in between bits that did get cut out and we did get him, don't worry. Um, any fun stories? Oh, I have one that I mentioned on Twitter and realized I never told a story from the last time I was in the UK. And it's that Tommy punched me in the face. <laughs> Which was not kind of an accident, but it was intentional because we were making jokes about if he could punch me in the face and someone was like, see what happens. And then he did it. And what happened was I got punched in the face. Very, 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 very lightly. <laughs> that was a fun one. Um, you planning room tour? I'm planning apartment tour. If I'm going to do a tour of any of this house, it's going to be all of it at once. And it's going to be when I'm done. <laughs> you punch me. <laughs> um... That one's one that gets to go down in the books. Got punched by Tommy in it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to do an apartment tour. There's one piece of furniture that I'm really waiting and I'm like, I've been scouring the internet for anything close to what I'm looking for. And I think what I have come to the conclusion of is I have to buy a piece of furniture in the style that I want, in any color, because I am going to have to paint it. Um, I think I found one that I really, really like. It's very expensive though, but man, furniture just be that way. <laughs> um, it's so nice though, and it'll look really nice painted. And then I just have to get a little rug. I'm really excited. And then I'm gonna get a record player, uh, cause I wanna start getting like a little mini vinyl collection, like very tiny, not super hardcore into getting vinyls, but I really wanna have just a little record player. One of the cute Urban Outfitter ones, I think. Um, it taught me and it punched me not clickbait. <laughs> that should have been the stream title. I don't know, I don't know what other um, stories I had. I had ideas of a bunch and then forgot what even happened while I was there. Where'd you get your gaming Minecraft share? <gasps> oh, just from the wonderful secret lab. They sent it to me as a gift, which was so nice. It was a gift from Microsoft. It was so, so, so nice of them because honestly, I probably was overdue for a new chair and I hadn't come to the realization of that yet until I moved it out into my living room and observed it to see if it was worth giving away. And it's gross. It's kind of nasty um, because I spilled coffee in it a bunch of times. So I might put it on the side of the road for someone to just kind of take as they please. Possibly. Um, I love Herman Outfitters. Where did that come from? Me too. <laughs> Same though. Wait, why did he punch you? We were just goofing around at Scott's house. And he wanted, he just asked if he could. And someone else told him to do it and see what would happen. And he did. And that was it. <laughs> he, 
It was a very light punch, though, and he did apologize profusely afterwards. But it was hilarious. Um, but it's not like just to take your chair. I'm gonna have to send it real far away from my actual house and just drive it out. I wasn't gonna put it in my car, though. I'm gonna just send it away. I'm gonna send it away. Far, far, far away. Hey, if you're here and you didn't see my tweet, or you did and you didn't think of something to write in the comments of it, but maybe you will now when I remind you of this tweet that I made. I did put out a tweet asking what you think are really, really, really good games but are super underrated because I kind of want to play through a bunch of them. I want to find a bunch of especially like good story ones and feel good ones um, because I really want to play Unpacking. And then I remembered us all playing Rhyme and there was another game on the list that someone had replied to my tweet that looked like it was in kind of the family of Rhyme. Resident Evil is definitely not feel good, but I see you with that recommendation. However, don't put them here because they will get just get lost. If you want to go to that tweet and keep adding them, if you didn't see it in the first place, keep adding games because I'm just going to constantly go back to it when I want just, I want to go through games that I haven't been played enough and get to experience the story and share it with you. It sounds like a really good time. Where is it? Really good, but really underrated. One of my own personal recommendations would be the game Rhyme on Steam. It's incredibly cheap, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to go check um, and Transistor by Supergiant Games. It wasn't one of their absolute most popular. I need to play Hades because that was one of their absolute super most popular games they've ever made. And I haven't played it yet, but Transistor came right before it. And I thought it was so phenomenal. I've played it like four times. Played it on three different kinds of streams that I've hosted. I think once on, twice on Twitch possibly. Once on Facebook and then once I did Monday streams to a, a, a private group for a while and it's so good so good but i think underrated and then rhyme really really sad i want to play spirit fair is on my list of ones that seems like a really nice time to play through and a good feel game feel good game oh rhyme is spelled r-i-m-e weirdly someone's back it up oh star got scared <laughs> um and then there was one that looked like it took place in like a big desert that looked like it was rhyme vibes we also played the um Absol. Ooblets we've played. That is, I would absolutely go back to that game too. Crin Cross's Bed and Breakfast. Did you know that I've played that? Because I did and I don't know of anyone else that ever did and it was on YouTube that I did a little series and I loved it so much. That's a great game. I really want to play these like super underrated games and maybe make a little series out of it either just for streaming or also to make a little YouTube series of all of these just underrated but really worthwhile to go through the story kind of games. I have played Slime Rancher. When is Slime Rancher 2 coming? That game had a really underrated storyline going along with it that you could ignore entirely if you really wanted to, but was really, really good. I didn't ever do the after game, like when you actually beat the game and then there's a bunch of after game stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to watch your playthrough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on my YouTube channel of Korean. I was looking for like Halloween kind of like cute spooky games. And I just kind of found that one. And I don't know of anyone else that's ever played this game. It wasn't like a very big popular. Yeah, there it is. Five years ago, I did the, a whole playthrough of it on YouTube. Five parts. Wow. And you know what? They didn't do too bad. I would love to do another little series of that. We also did the game Broken Age, which I thought was really, really good. I want to go back and play games like that. Ori in the Blind Forest I played. I haven't played the second one. I would love to do that. But yeah, if you have any ideas, pop them onto that tweet because I'm just going to keep going back to that one. Journey is the one I was thinking of. It needed two players, though, supposedly, when I checked Google. Um, but maybe not. And we're going to obviously keep playing Hard Crust, Soft Crust, whatever other Minecraft might come our way. Um... Phasmophobia group's always going to come back together and play some more Phasmophobia. I'm trying to pull together a couple of boys to play Raft, which I think would be really, really fun. Um, ooh, crispy, crunchy. Yeah. You would try Minecraft not popular. Talk about underrated. Let's talk about Minecraft. We don't talk about it enough. No one's playing it enough. 
Um, I think we need a Dead by Daylight stream. That would also be really fun. Or In Silence, because I'm still like a sucker for that game. Uh, I think that would be really fun. Especially that someone gets to be the monster. Um, but can talk out loud to us. That would be really fun. And it only needs five people. So it could be the Phasmo... Is it five or is it six? It's six, isn't it? It could be the Phasmo group plus two. I could ask, like, H and anybody else. Um, that would be a ton of fun. I'm going to try and get that to be the next game that we play with those boys. I'm going to try... I'm going to try my hardest. I think that would be really, really fun. I'm also really good at being the monster, and I would like to just obliterate all the boys as the monster when I get my turn. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> That'd be really fun. Minecraft, never heard of it. Oh my god, it's this great game with blocks. Subscribe to me on YouTube. How was trying Spoons? It was okay. Spoons was good. Um, Nando's was good. Um, that's about it. We could do another Risk stream too. That was a ton of fun. Board game streams. I think we're trying to plan a Catan stream. That would be really fun with like Joey and Lauren and, and Scott and Megan. Black Panda, thank you for subscribing. I also, I think this month, towards the end of the month, I'm going to plan the day that will be my 12-hour stream where we're going to take it easy, do maybe a few of these like feel-good games. We could always do Stardew Valley again too. Maybe get um, Animal Crossing back in the mix. We could do Pokemon but I really want to do a 12 hour stream at the end of this month, I think, as like a subathon, as like the maximum being the 12 hours for the, the sub goal. But then I also want to do other little goals throughout, like I have to do challenges. I think that'll be fun. Like, ooh, give me ideas for challenges. Like eating hot sauce. Make me eat pickles, I love pickles. <laughs> what are other ideas of goals? And then as subs come in that would add time to the stream, but also we hit goals with the sub number that I have to do little challenges. Maybe even challenges in the game I'm playing. I don't want to ruin my hardcore world with that though. <laughs> One of the challenges is you have to let go of your keyboard for two minutes and then I die. I really want this to be a long-term hardcore world is the goal, hopefully. Because we did have one for over two years um, that started on Facebook, but I did decide to abandon it because it's like four Minecraft versions ago. 25 jumping jacks? We're gonna not do any exercise ones. That also feels weird to do on stream and I just don't want people watching me do jumping jacks. Feels a little weird. Don't think I wanna do that one. Great suggestion though, maybe. Pickles and vanilla yogurt? I might throw up. Um, let me just, give me your ideas and I'm just gonna shoot them down <laughs> immediately. Cosplay goals. I did do an entire Halloween stream where every time we hit the goal I changed into a different costume. That was basically that. I don't have any other cosplays at my disposal, except for the Azula one that I didn't get to wear. <gasps> I was so excited about that too. Now I'm blonde, I had the perfect hair for her. Now we're going for long hair. I think Shovel should buy cat earphones. The thing is I don't like over ear headphones, so I just don't wear them. I did leave my Apple earbuds in the UK though, so I might have to, oh, <gasps> they match. <laughs> I might have to wear these for a, This is kind of a vibe, actually. I just don't like over ear because they end up hurting my ears after a while. But this is low-key kind of a vibe. You catch me walking down the street just bopping my head to some music, wearing some dirty old white Reeboks or something. Probably just my actual dirty Air Force Ones. Cannibal Curtis, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, I did buy new Apple earbuds already, actually. They're in the other room, though. Uh, I forgot that I did that and I left him over there. Do, do, do. I've not watched your content in like four years. Welcome back. I've been here for a little while. I was on Facebook for a little while. Um, still on YouTube too. Glad you found your way back. Um, maybe learn a song for banjo Lely on stream. That's a great idea for part of the sub goal. Hopefully a really easy one. What's a really easy song I could learn on the, like the essentially ukulele? No more than four chords, please. We'll try that until we hit the next goal that gets me out of it. <laughs> Riptide is easy. I would love to learn Riptide, actually. That would be great. That would be great. And if we don't do it by the time the next goal is hit, that's okay. But it is going to be something we spend our time trying to learn for a while. Isla, 
love that one. Let me write that down. I want to write down these these goals. Um, it's like three chords. That's perfect for me. That's phenomenal. Learn a song on... I'm going to write ukulele just because banjo lele is always autocorrected because it is not recognized as a word, <laughs> which is weird. I feel like Minecraft is dying. No one plays anymore. My favorite fact about Minecraft is that there has never been a point in its time of its existence um, from the year that it was created to now that the player base ever went down. It has only ever gone up. But maybe your friends aren't playing anymore. I certainly am still playing it. If you want to keep watching people who are still playing it, I'm still playing it. I will always still be playing it. Um, but every time that people thought the game was dying, player base and active players were just skyrocketing. They never dipped. And I'm such a lover of that game. Big advocate for Minecraft. This is why they send me things, because I'm nice. I like the game, and they're nice to me. And thank you so much, Microsoft, for my chair. <laughs> I kind of am vibing with these headphones and they're not hurting yet. Let's see how long until they do. Do I put on a little lo-fi so I have something to be listening to? These aren't plugged into anything. I'm <laughs> just wearing them. You ever do that though? You have headphones and you're not particularly wanting to be playing anything because you kind of want to be listening to your surroundings, but you put the unplugged wire. This doesn't make sense because you could have it plugged in and not be playing anything. You put the unplugged wire in your pocket to look like you're listening to something. I'm realizing now this doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Omega Lone Wolf, thank you for the prime. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You have the cha same chair as Major. And I believe Nikki has this chair too. They sent us a, bu a bunch of us. They sent the Minecraft chair because they were so excited to share it with us who play Minecraft. And I was so excited to get it. Um, does anyone else hear occasionally squeaky sound in my mic? There better not be a squeaky sound in my mic. Remember when there was a squeaky key on my keyboard and I was in absolute... Complete denial. You look like if daddy issues was a gender. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does it mean? <sighs> Who wants to listen to lo-fi? If I play this in, am I going to ruin everything? You can still hear me? Good, 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 you can. <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> my dad's great. He's a great man. Um, cool. Cool. Where's that uh, Animal Crossing lo-fi? Because that was the one I really liked playing. Send in some cues. Send in some things that you'd like to ask. I'm just here to hang out today. Taking a little bit easy. I did get sick for one singular day. I was so fine and then yesterday I was not fine and today I'm fine. I just sound a little bit nasally still. Um, but I cannot explain what happened. Animal Crossing, lo-fi, Twitch safe though, because we only listen to Twitch safe music in this house. I still hear it occasionally. Oh yeah, remember the squeaky key on my keyboard? I haven't been typing though, so that's definitely not what's squeaking, if something's squeaking. Is something squeaking? Oh, God, I hope not. <gasps> Animal Crossing relaxing music with soft rain? I don't think I want that for the stream. But that sounds lovely for... That's really loud, wait. It's loud in my headphones, but it might not be so loud for you. That's really loud for me. You don't hear the music? It's popping up on uh, Streamlabs that you can hear it, which is weird. Can you hear it here? Why is it so loud? Now you hear it? Oh, it's so loud for me. Well, that's weird. <laughs> well, it's just gonna be real loud for me then, maybe. How can I adjust the volume only in my headphones? It's quiet. All right, let's. It's a good vibe. It's kind of loud. No, it is not quiet. Oh, it's, some people are saying it's quiet. Some people are saying it's not. So I'm not sure. It's really loud to me though.
These headphones, I don't understand. <laughs> well, is it good? I haven't really touched it. It just is. How do I make just this quieter? Can I even do that? If I lower... Is the volume the same for you right now? Or did it get quiet? Because now it's a good volume for me. It's the same? I figured it out, I'm a technical genius. All right, sick. I figured out how to lower it just for me, but I can adjust it for you to be louder if you'd like. But I am not suffering anymore. I'm really digging these headphones. They match Jack's merch perfectly. I couldn't have planned that better if I tried. Vincent, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being sub for an entire year. I really appreciate it. I can hear softly. It's a good volume though. Yeah, we want it to be a nice soft background. I'm feeling so retro today. I feel like what I'm about to do, and I'm wearing a little like, a little pleated white tennis skirt. What I'm about to do is pull out my longboard and just like go for a little skate down the street with my little headphones and my iPod. I also have a Pokemon skateboard that I still have to show you that I'm really excited about. That also was sent to me by Pokemon. It was really, really cool. Made out of wood and it's Pikachu. Are you happy with where your SMP, Empire's SMP ended? I am. There's always more story to Shrub that I would wish I could have told if I had more episodes or more time, but I'm really, really happy that I got to tell, even if I had to condense some bits it in its entirety as I had planned it. I knew how I wanted it to end. I knew different points that I wanted her to get to and I hit every single one of them, even if I had to kind of like rush a little bit to get to them sometimes. It was my fault if I did have to rush that I didn't give myself more time. I was traveling a lot. Low gang stat TV? Low gangs, low gangsta TV. Thank you for gifting a sub, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, but I am really happy. Um, I do believe somebody else pulled a Tom Holland for Empires and, and uh, did a little spoil on what the goal for season two is. Is that true? Or if I say it, am I gonna become the Tom Hollands? You already know. Some of you already know. I did a Tom Holland, but somebody else also did a Tom Holland. Um, but I don't wanna just explicitly say it if I'm not supposed to still. But he, I'm pretty sure it was already said. Um, we know so you can just tell us. Swip said, Fripp said some stuff. Jimmy is the one who spoiled it. Um, Low Gangsta TV, thank you for gifting another sub. And Storm, thank you for the dollar. Oh, wait, that was the same one as before. Sorry. Thank you for the dollar, Storm. I hope you enjoyed your time in the UK. I love watching Ash's vlog of you all at the petting zoo. We went to the petting zoo. That's the story I can tell in a second. Okay, so. Season two is going to have different characters. However, I did very clearly at the end of my season of Empires say that Shrub will be coming back. And I meant that. As a different series. Um... I have an idea of doing a mini series prequel to Shrub or sequel of her finding, actually sequel, sequel, not prequel. I forgot, I changed, I changed the plan already. A mini series sequel of Shrub going from the nether through the, what I called the corrupted zone and out of it into the rest of what's the spirit world. Hello, Scott! I'm not talking about any spoilers for the virus. I'm not. I'm talking about my plan for telling the rest of Shrub's story because I want to do a little mini series following her into the nether and then whatever happens when she finds her way out or to wherever her gnome land is, I'm gonna do a little mini series as like a little adventure map that I play through, but I have to find people who can make that. Thank you so much for the raid, Scott! Welcome, dudes! Hello, 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 hello. I'm back home in LA. I was just in the UK with Scott. We went bowling. Oh, what was the story I was gonna tell? Oh yeah, we went to a petting zoo. That wasn't, unfortunately, what Scott pulled. That was one of the stories in the UK that I could tell is that we went to a petting zoo. I wanted so desperately, Scott knows how much I love sheep after I saw for the first time, hundreds and hundreds of sheep in the same place. 
in my time in America, I don't know how common sheep are out here. I've seen maybe one or two at a petting zoo, but like we I'm not in mass, not in great numbers. And he was driving and I looked on the side of the road and just hundreds of sheep and I, I lost my shit. Strange kid, thank you for gifting a sub. So we ended up going to a petting zoo uh, and I didn't know if I was gonna get to pet a, a, a sheep or not. I just knew I was gonna get to, it wasn't actually a petting zoo. Um, it was just a, it was just a farm. <laughs> it wasn't even a zoo or a pet. It was a farm. Um, and we went around, we got to see all of the different animals. We saw an alpaca, which was neat. And then we also saw a llama who was spitting and was terrifying. He didn't spit at me though. I got as close as I could. I got as close as anybody could and he didn't spit at me, but he was spitting at everybody else. <laughs> um, and Ash did spit back, showed him dominance. Um, but then we went back into the little farm area where there were bunnies and goats and sheep. And one of the ladies who worked there um, recognized one of us and was like, do you want to come feed the horses? And so we fed the horses little bits of carrots. And then I was like, can I pet a sheep? Because I didn't know if they would like to be pet. I didn't know if it was actually a petting zoo because the, the, the little thing they were in was kind of high up and I'd have to really reach to pet them. So it seemed like it was advised not to, but she was like, oh yeah, sure. And then I got to pet one. And then I got to hold a bunny and it was amazing. I was so scared though. It was wiggling and I was so afraid of letting go of it and it getting loose. And we also got to see little baby goats. And there's also a pregnant goat there. And maybe the next time I go back to the UK and maybe I can go back to this farm and maybe she will have had the babies and I'll get to see even newer baby goats, even fresher baby goats. But I got to pet my sheep and that's all I wanted. They were so fluff, fluffy and fuzzy and, and just so nice. I thought they'd be angry about it, but they, they were pleasantly happy with me petting them. Super satisfied to be pet. One of them had little horns though and it came up and it headbutted the one I was petting. Probably a little bit jealous. Oh, I have another story. I have another story. So I went into London to the aquarium. I have a way with befriending animals in places where I have no business making friends with the animals. Uh, once I went to Disney World and we also went to a petting zoo and a goat picked me and followed me for the entirety of me being in there and kept its head close into my hip and my head, my hand constantly on his little head until I had to go and he just kind of watched me walk, it was sad. Now, we go to the aquarium in London. Um, now here's the real kicker of confirmed cat lady, that cats know cat people and I am cat people. We go into the room that has cat fish I squat down to take a little peek at all the little catfishies in this tank. And one of them comes and does his little swim on over to me and just kind of lays down right next to me, just looking at me. I got real close to the glass too. I have a picture of it. I have to get on my phone. I don't have it on my phone, but I got really, really close to the glass and was just sitting with this little, with this little catfish. And just to prove that this catfish was really, really in love with me and wanted to hang out with me and was best friends with me. He sat with me for ages. He was swimming around the whole tank until I came up and then he sat down right next to me and he was hanging out. And then I moved over, I moved to a different spot to see how much it was true that this catfish liked me and it moved to follow me. I kind of like scooted to the other side of the tank and he took his little head and turned it this way kind of squished himself into the glass a little bit, had to do a little reverse maneuver and then kind of K turned back around to, to be facing me again, but he did it. Cats love me, even catfish. <laughs> cats know cat people. You know, cats, any person's cat knows who is a cat person, who's gonna be a nice cat lady or man or anyone. But cats know people that are good to cats and like cats. And even the catfish knew. So that was kind of awesome. <laughs> Pay Barrel parked underwater. He did full K-turn to come and 
redirect his little face towards me. I did get a little spooked though, because I had my face really pressed up into the glass, like just right next to his face. His face also pressed into the glass. If he had done anything, like open his mouth suddenly or like do a little suction on the glass, or like, I don't know, any sudden movement, I would have just been so scared. But he didn't, he was just hanging, he's just chilling. Would have made for a great jump scare if he did though. Would have. Uh, yeah. How was the food there? It was good. You know what I learned is that, you, um, I don't know if this is an LA thing or an America thing. We have tons of options, probably mostly an LA thing or a major city kind of a thing. We have a ton of options on like Uber Eats, but there were like four options on Deliveroo was the app I used over there. It's not as a uh, wide variety of choices for delivery food I found. But the food was good when you went out to get it. Also, I really love going to pubs. That was always fun. That was a good time. Oh, was, um, oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I remembered a story, but I already told it. How do you know it was a catfish? Maybe it was catfishing you. The sign said catfish, but if it was catfishing me, then it got me because just because it says catfish. Doesn't mean it is catfish. How was bowling? I won one of our games. I won one of our games. Something else I was told is that apparently Americans are exceptionally good at bowling and really take it seriously. Whereas everyone in the UK is just kind of equally bad at bowling and no one really cares. But everyone here is just inherently better because we take bowling a little bit more seriously. I was a varsity bowler, I've said many a time. I'm sure you've heard me say it before. Um, I was legitimately a varsity bowler in my high school. I really do like bowling. And I only won one of the games. I honestly bowled really, really horribly. Um, for the most part. Even the game I won. <laughs> I didn't break 100 at all. Um, yeah. Listen, I, everyone asking about Tesco's. Scott took me to Tesco's. I knocked everything off the list that I wanted to go to, and I went to Tesco's with Scott. Please tell me you had British food. I had food in Britain. I've had fish and chips. I had one fish and chip. <laughs> one fish and one chip. I had Nando's. I had spoons. Scott took me to Tesco's last time. We didn't get the meal deal though, but I did get what is those little meal deals in a different like convenience store. You have those little box sandwiches that you open and it's a little container and it's really cute and you get a little drink and a chip. Um, that was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was fully ignoring everyone asking me to go to Texas because it's a little over and he's here. Well, you didn't take me, so Scott did. <laughs> I went to my big test. I went to a big Tesco's with my friend Scott. <laughs> you snooze, you lose, Mia said. I'll just go on my own need a meal deal. So is that, the meal deal is like a little, a little boxed sandwich, a little chip, a cook, a crisp, and um, and a drink. I got that at other places. I didn't get it at, oh, what, oh I didn't get a milk tray. I don't know, ask Scott. He didn't get me the meal deal. He didn't get me the meal deal though. Scott didn't provide for me. I say as he took me to Tesco's to get groceries so that he could cook me dinner at his house instead actually. The slander where Scott did just raid me. <laughs> you need a milk tray. What is a milk? Is that just a tray? Like a school cafeteria tray? Is there a cafeteria in Tesco's? I thought we had moved past it because I did go. I went there with Scott. I didn't get the meal deal. I thought that was okay. Oh, it's chocolate. It's not a tray. It's chocolate. <laughs> Never mind. There is no cafeteria inside Tesco's. All right. Scott's not here anymore, though, at least. He raided me and he dipped. This is good. He won't need to know. He doesn't ever need to know. Milk tray, Cadbury's chocolate box. I did have Cadbury's. I also had a chocolate orange. Tommy let us try a chocolate orange. I thought I wouldn't like it because I haven't liked any other time I've had chocolate and orange or chocolate and any other fruit flavor, but it was really good. <laughs> it was actually really good. Poor Shelby, she was scammed from her. I was scammed in the fact that Scott decided to cook a meal from scratch at home for me instead. 
absolutely robbed of my opportunity for a meal deal. Pretty disappointed, pretty upset about it, feeling kind of betrayed. We'll have to go back. I do want to go back when I'm already in Europe, in France, because by that point, I'm already like kind of almost there. May as well pop over. Just we'll hop, skip and a jump right on over to the UK. Say hi to Scott again. Oh, my little friend. Say hi to Wilbur. Say hi to Tommy. Do a little bit more shopping because every time I go there, I do more shopping. Got to go back to Urban Outfitters and buy more men's large things. Got to hang with my buddy Jack and show him how good I look in the merch because the merch is just so well made that anyone would look good in it. Now, if only Jack was here, we'd have the full Phasmo squad. And then I could make them all play in silence with me. Did you go to any museums? I did! I forgot about that too. I'm glad you asked me this because I had all these stories to tell. There isn't much story to go with it, but I did go to the Natural History Museum and I went to the Science Museum and that was really, really fun. I got to see the big whale and the big bone whale. Um, I got to see all the rocks in the National, uh, Nash, Natural History Museum. Um... I'm a big sucker for rocks. Love the whale. The whale! That's a lot of stuff. This was probably my most activity-filled trip because last time I did get sick for a majority of the time I was in the UK. And I did also stay inside for the majority of the first week that I went to the UK. Um, but we did so many more things this time after I was free to explore. Did I buy anything to bring back? I didn't end up buying anything to bring back. I've already gotten my spoon for my spoon collection. I already got my mom the Starbucks um, location mug. You know how they have that collection of different places in the world, whether it's country, city, state. I didn't steal a rock. I need to steal a rock. When I went to Italy, I stole a piece of cobblestone out of the ground in, um, in Turin, Turin, Turin. I couldn't remember the name of the place I had been. I took a piece of the, a, a little rock from Turin. Now I need to do it. I did steal. I don't have that rock anymore either, which is kind of a bummer. But I need to steal a rock now from the UK. I do like that the UK has a little rocky beach. It's got just little pebbles everywhere. It's kind of neat. Um. <gasps> oh, I have, the, I have the picture of me with the catfish. Wait. <laughs> I can show it. Do you guys want to see a picture of me being best friends with a catfish? Because <laughs> I have it. Save image. Yay! Oh my god. And I have the picture of the catfish himself. Which we named. Um, We named him Citizen Snips. Alright, let me, let me, how do I get a picture up in here? I'm going to put it here. We're going to put it right here properties all right here here's the boy oh it rotated it how do i fix that here's oh it zoomed in it's so zoomed in um um ah wait i gotta rotate him how do i flip yeah so this 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 is our man this is our guy. Let me move him. Let me move him a little bit this way. So this, this here <laughs> is the Citizen Snips. Can I make him a little smaller? Yeah, there you go. There you go, little Citizen Snips. This is our man. The man, the myth, the legend. Um, and here is me with him. <laughs> with my face pressed against just hanging out with this catfish. You know what I hope? I hope he remem remembers me. I said that the next time I go to the UK, I have to go back to London. I have to go back to the aquarium. And I have to go back and see if my friend Citizen Snips is still there. <laughs> Look at his face. He's such a special guy. Drea, thank you for the hundred bits. Strange Kid, thank you for gifting a sub. I missed that before. I stood like, I sat like that for no joke, like 20 minutes 
we just stopped the entirety of the walkthrough of this aquarium and we sat here for ages. Kids came and went, they kind of like came and looked and we're like, oh, he's cool. You know why we, we got to stay in this room for so, so long? Every other room, it was a Saturday. Every other room and like attraction and aquarium or tank or whatever in this aquarium was packed with people and kids and families, except the catfish room. Don't know why no one wanted to look at the catfish. So I got to stay there forever. There was a little ledge, so I just had a little seat, I had a little sit down. No one was interested in the catfish. The honey bun bun, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Let's get, let's get, let's get him back in here. Let me get, let me get just him back in here. There were these other fish too <laughs> that were really grumpy looking and I did a grumpy face to look like the grumpy fish and I also don't have those pictures. But I, they were in the same tank as the catfish. This room was the best room in the entire aquarium is the catfish room. And I think anyone who goes to London or lives anywhere near where you can get to London or if you're ever going to London, just pay the catfish a visit, please. They really, they really, really deserve a little, a little, just to go and say hello. <laughs> just to go say hi. Hey, how's it going? No one ever goes and says hi to the catfish. Why is no one going to say hi to the catfish? No one's ever hanging out with them. No one wants to hang with the catfish. I'm gonna hang with them. Put him back. No. He stays in my heart forever. What if he's still there? What if he's still sitting in the spot where I was just face to face hanging out with him. What if he's there waiting? How long do get, uh, catfish live for? What if he thinks, what if he's waiting for me to come back? He's just laying there. I come back in a year and he's still there and he's like, as if he had just only blinked. It's like, oh, you're back. You were gone for like just a second, right? That'd be funny, I think. Susanna, thank you for the prime. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for subscribing. Like that one dog. We don't talk about that dog. You know what else I think is a really sad Futurama episode is the bee episode, the bee sting giant bee honey episode. I haven't watched nearly enough of Futurama to know all of what are probably also sad episodes, but that one is one that made me cry a lot. I kind of want to watch through the entire show. It's supposedly really good start to finish. Regarded as one of the best shows ever made in, in its completion, just start, finish. Really good the whole way through. Um, we don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about the dog from Futurama. And we don't talk about the bee episode because that one made me cry too. They live for 60 years. I wonder how old he is though. Oh, I hope he's still there when I go back. I hope he is still there waiting. <gasps> Do you guys want to see me with the grumpy fish? <laughs> oh, this is, it's the, my least favorite photo of me ever. Maybe, probably not actually, it's definitely more least favorite ones. Do you want to see grumpy fish? <laughs> and me imitating grumpy fish? This is fun. This is, now it's become show and tell. Isn't that just a, a fun time? All right, let me show you grumpy fish. And then I'm going to show you me. I feel like you need a good zoom on his face. You really, you gotta, you gotta see. That's a grumpy guy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really, you see his mouth is just a full upside down U. Full grump, 100% full grump mode. Now, um. He's a good one. He's in the same tank as the catfish. <laughs> it's the best room in the entire aquarium. Absolute favorite part. There are penguins there. That's still my favorite part. 
How frown can you frown? How, how? That's better, that might be better actually. Yeah, there were penguins in this, <laughs> there were penguins in this aquarium. That room was fully packed of families and kids though. So we like kind of peeked at them. I found and picked one that was my favorite because they were all color coded with names and I don't remember the name of the one I liked. She had an orange collar though and it was a lady one, but couldn't stay too long because it was too, too packed. But we got to really hang out in the catfish room. Could not recommend more a thing to do in London is just simply go to the aquarium for the catfish. Anyway, frowning is so hard. Yeah, can you do full? That's the best, that's the most frown I can frown. It is really hard. <laughs> also, smiling can be really hard. My smile is going this way. That's my old smile. Is that the full extent of your frown? Because that's like my resting face. Have I ever told you that my resting face is lost puppy and the amount of times I've just been in public in a store, shopping, anywhere at all, somebody stops me and asks, are you lost? Are you okay? Because I'm like, apparently look scared and lost like I lost my parents. What am I, resting face? Beat a boo, bring it in for a hug. Did I miss any hugs? I feel like I haven't seen him in a while, so I don't know. That's my resting face, is lost puppy. How long are you gonna stream for? We're just chatting. Maybe another like little while. Another little while, maybe. Um. Oh, I just opened my own channel and I'm watching an ad. That means you should smile more. I'm gonna frown more, actually. It takes more muscles. I'm working out the muscles in my face. I'm the grumpy cat. <laughs> I am grumpy cat, I guess. Oh, Lady Celestia, I missed your hug. That was the only one. Bring it in, get in here, I hope you're still here. Thanks for redeeming a hug. Thanks for being in my chat long enough to redeem the amount of channel points it takes. I really appreciate it. You want a buff face or... What would that look like, a ripped face? Just a really strong face muscles. Would that give me a strong jaw? Cause I don't have one. It's a little weak right here. I'm really digging these headphones. Do I have an, and my ears don't hurt. Maybe this is, maybe I didn't need to go to Apple yesterday and buy earbuds to replace my other earbuds. But these just kind of perfectly match my shirt today. It's a whole kind of look. They won't match every time. The NC Jester, thank you for gifting a hundred bits. Thank you for the hundred bits. Are you sure that was not a doolong? That is not a fish. The grumpy one? I don't know what that was. He just was in the tank with the catfish. It's not a fish. What is it? What else could it be? I know the other one's a cat, obviously. Uh, Tony Schilling, thank you for subbing for two years! Spiraling into frowning streams. <laughs> You've never seen me frown for such a prolonged amount of time. I'm just such a happy person, usually. Omega Cringe Lord, thank you for being subbed for 13 months! Kronos Bantu, thank you for also being subbed for 13 months! Happy 13 an month anniversaries, you guys. Thank you. He's simply a grumpy boy. What is he? If he's not a fish. Is this the one you mean? It's not a dog. It's not a cat. I know he's not a catfish. He's, he's just a bloke. <laughs> That's just a bloke. That's just a guy, actually. It's just a, some guy. What else could he be? Dogfish. Is there a dogfish? There's a catfish, obviously. I don't think there's a dogfish. Is there? There is! There is a dogfish! It's called a spiny dogfish. Oh, and he's kind of adorable, actually. Oh, wait. Wait, hold on, I have to set, save this picture. Save image. There is such a thing as a dogfish. A blokefish, that's that's a joke, right? He's not actually called that, right? Oh, 
Why is he little up there? Why, why is he like that? Wait! <laughs> I have to rotate him. He's rotated. This is a dogfish. Can you believe it? Apparently a spiny dogfish according to Google. So that is a thing and he's kind of adorable and I think He looks a little shark like I don't know if he is a shark or not But he's kind of adorable a little bit We found the third roommate <laughs> Wow dogfish are sharks it is a shark He gave me shark vibes. I think that one that I showed was a little baby one um Wow. Oh, now I've seen something cursed, and now I... Salt marine... Wait, what? Is this real? a dog face is that real is that it has a nose <laughs> fish can't have noses do fish have, fish have noses don't they they do have just regular noses they got little wait there's another one There's another one and it. it's so weird. What are you? It has a dog nose. Fish or dog? It's a dog face puffer fish. What does it look like puffed? What does it look like puffed? Can I find him? <gasps> no. Wait, you gotta see it puffed. <gasps> Why is it so little? He's so rotund. It's so round. <laughs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish. He's doing a great job. Scrunkly little, he's he's not scrunkly. What's the opposite of scrunkly? If he was unpuffed, I think he'd be scrunkly, like all shrinked up. He's the opposite of scrunkly if he's full puff. He chonky, he rotund. That was fun. I like the music happening in the background too. Look up smiling puffer fish. Smiling puffer fish. I'm just learning about fish today. Best friends with a fish. He's smiling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where did that save to? 
here. He's just a happy little guy. He's just a happy little guy. This stream has become me being fish for an hour and a half. <laughs> this stream is me doing fish impressions for an hour and a half. Cowfish? What's a cowfish? I don't like him. I don't like this one. I don't trust his face. Wait. I have so many pictures of... Oh, <laughs> um... <laughs> um... <laughs> um... I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy. His little, his little things here kind of make him look a little angry in some other ones. You want to see what other picture I just have on my computer? Uh, since we're here. Just on the topic of good animals. Let's talk about the chinchilla for just a second. Wombat? It's not a, what's a wombat look like? That's like Rocco's Modern Life wombat, is he? Wait, is he a wombat? Wombats are cute. Oh my God, wait. I, is a wombat a rodent? Cause I think that every rodent is adorable. I think that there is no exception. I think every rodent is adorable. A wallaby, he's a wallaby. Different, different W animal. Okay. Chinchillas are good. Here, however, is, where'd I save? Oh, here's a wombat. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh lordy, he coming. Every rodent's a good animal, all of them. There's no exception. That's enough of that. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, ooh. Petition to put grumpy fish in Minecraft. Catfish should go in Minecraft. Kogi's bring it in for a hug. Oh man, crunch. I think those are all my stories from this time in the UK. There will be more times, um, and there will be more stories, surely. This is now a marine life reviewing. and But then it became rodent reviewing. And then it just was me imitating fish. I'm gonna screenshot this.
It actually hurts. My face is exhausted. <laughs> my face is exhausted from using all my frowning muscles. I'm not used to using those. You look like a bulldog. <laughs> what animal would I be if I was an animal? But not frowning, because then I would be a bulldog. Um, we get a review of goblin sharks. Let me do a quick Google on goblin sharks. What's the goblin shark? Nope. Yeah, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like that one. A deer, a squirrel, a bunny. These are all very good animals. Deer are one of my favorites. Foxes are also one of my favorites. An otter? <gasps> I'd be an... Wait, I'd be an otter? Let me find an otter that would be me. All of them are holding another otter. Every otter picture that I'm looking at or cuddling another otter. It's actually adorable. Would love to be an otter. Oh, here's a good one. Wait. All right, we're going back to putting Google images up on my stream. Wait. Where did he save? There we go. Okay, easy, done, that's me. <gasps> I don't know how you say this one. It's the one that somebody suggested that starts with a Q, Q, U, O, K, A, K, K, A. I don't know how you say this one, but oh my goodness. Wait, I gotta get a really good one. Oh, that's it, that's the one, this is the one. Safe picture. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. He's so, how, what do you say, Quoka? Quoka? Okay, that's what I would've guessed. Quoka. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh my god. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so polite! He's such a gentleman. What a good boy. But he's a dapper young man. <gasps> Little piggy. Piggy dipping. Piggy dipping at the piggy pond. Nah, you went saucy swimming in the water bowl. Dipped in fat little toes in there. Chubba bun. That's my favorite TikTok. <laughs> Dre, thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. Dragon Messenger, thank you for... Oh, wait. I... Did I read this one already? I didn't. Dragon Messenger, thank you also for subscribing for also 13 months. We got a bunch of 13-month anniversaries. Dude. Piggy dipping. Capybara again. Capybara are just the best. All animals in the entire animal kingdom agree that capybara are the best. They don't have the best looking faces though. And you, you'll see what I mean. Like, they're cool, they're chill. Everyone's chill with them. But they don't. <laughs> they're not like. Like they're not the cutest. Kinda looks pissed off. It looks disappointed, actually. It looks like it cares about you, but you did something that they're not upset, but they are disappointed. JD Warrior, thank you for the prime. <laughs> Who did this to him? Who disappointed him? This is a capybara. And someone let him down. And you should be ashamed of yourself. 
I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Happy ta tapper, taper. Thank you for subscribing. Isn't that an animal? Oh, that is one. Here, let's get a lo let's get a load of this guy. Wait, let's get a load of this guy. A tape beer? How do you say it? Tape beer? Where did you save to, little guy? Little man. Where did it go? Um, here he is. Look at the snout on him. Look at the snoot on that guy. Look at Tapir. Look at this, look at him. Panda. <laughs> It's a panda. They're like an elephant, kind of. They're they're like a mix of other animals put together, but they don't look like they should be an animal all on their own. That is just an actual, naturally occurring being. Nocturnal, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ant eaters. He looks a little ant eaterish with his little snoot. Ant eater. Oh, Anteater's got much more of a snoot, though. They're kind of... Can I say that they're... Wait, Anteater, look, hold on. Can, am I allowed to... Whoa. Okay, this thing's wild looking. How much... How long have you looked at an Anteater for? Have, has, have any of you really, like, taken the time to... What is that? What is that? What's with the tail? For what? It... Its head looks like it should be the tail and its tail looks like it should be the head. Why does his head get so tiny but his tail is getting so big? What? Why is he like that? Why is he shaped like that? He looks like someone put his head on the wrong side. It's backwards. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He's kind of cute in, in like a weird kind of way, but what's up with his... What that? <laughs> what, what's up with that? I don't like bugs though, so I don't trust anything that eats bugs. He's he's scrunkly like the ugly definition. <laughs> scrunkly scrunkly in parentheses derogatory. Perry dogs? I know what prairie dogs are. What's a perry dog? Oh, that's a prairie dog. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, they're good. Oh, they're good. You ever see a fat one? That sometimes they, they, they're kept in captivity and they get a little bit fat. It's kind of funny. But they need to go on a little diet, but it's kind of funny. All right, here, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Prairie Dog and I think that's gonna be the end of our animal review. I think I'm gonna wrap up. Um, let's get a little Prairie Dog guy in here. Oh, oh, oh. He's so much bigger than I expected. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a hard one to do an impression of because it's just hands. It's just his hands. He's not ma really making a face. He's just got his hands there. But also a gentleman. Also a good little lad. A good little guy who I would trust. I would trust him with my life, for sure. Well, that was fun, everybody. <laughs> that was a fun time doing a little animal reviews. I think as we come near the end of the playlist of music and we've gone through all of, some of what are the best fished and best animals, Gigi bring it in for a hug. 
I do have a VODs channel. Um, it's youtube.com slash legend of shub, believe it or not. I'm gonna just type it out because I don't think we have a link to it. I haven't been uploading VODs lately. I do wanna upload the VODs of things that will be lost to Twitch eventually, but are ones that I definitely don't wanna lose forever. Uh, I recorded a bunch of the VODs. I think I have to download this VOD because I didn't record it, but it kind of was a fun time. Kind of want to record it. Kind of want to maybe, I don't know, do Shovel Reviews Animals for a YouTube video. Kind of seemed like a fun time. I was having a blast. Doing animal impressions was a good time. It was really fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I think I will be live again tomorrow. I think we'll probably be playing Minecraft more likely or a game of some kind, if not maybe like you know, unpacking or something, but we might go and do another uh, round of hardcore Minecraft. Ripkin! What happens to a rainbow that commits crime? It goes to prism. Every time you sub, it better have a, a new pun to it. That's the new requirement. Unless you already were doing that the entire time, every time, because you do do that. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Ripkin. Appreciate you being here for nine months. You missed the animal review though. Um. I am wrapping up here. We're, we're uh, gonna send you guys all off to another lovely streamer that I will go pick. They only got a light sentence. Mm. Okay. Well, my nose is getting the sniffles back, unfortunately. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll do hardcore Minecraft next time. I got to tell all my stories. We got to review a bunch of animals. That was a really, really fun time. That was probably the most fun, or some of the most fun I've had in a stream in a while. I love the chatting streams. It's just a good good vibe all around. Um, I'm gonna have you guys raid Jivik. He's playing First Class Trouble, which I haven't gotten to play yet, but I have heard is really, really fun and I'm very curious about it. Um, I got to hang out with him last time I was in the UK, but I didn't get to see him this time, but go. Be the absolute nicest people in this chat if you don't know the rules. Ask the mods, don't break them by accident. And go bring your good vibes. And thank you for bringing your good vibes here today. Um, I'm hoping by sometime towards the end of this month, I'm gonna do a 12 hour stream. We're gonna make a bunch of plans for different goals and stuff. I might tweet on my second Twitter looking for uh, ideas for that. Cause I so far only wrote one down, which is to learn a ukulele song or a song of ukulele during the stream. Um, but we're gonna do a 12 hour subathon. Maximum 12 hours if we hit the goal. If we don't, we end. Newful, thank you for the prime. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks, you. Good. Bye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. What are you still doing? You're your goodbye.